welcome to the Ampere Tube Strikes Back. So it's uh, in French, it's uh, it's look like uh, the Empire to Strike Back, and obviously it doesn't work in English. But thank you to, for coming here. <laughs> so let's decentralize YouTube. Uh, I'm from Sky. Uh, Chocobos is not here. He's uh, a little bit shy, but. Uh, Ah, ah, he's here. <laughs> so, let's go. We have a problem. YouTube is hegemonic. You want to watch a video for a scientific video, for a cat video? Do you like cat video? Yes. Uh, you go to YouTube first. That's a problem. And it's a, it's a big silo of data in the decentralized web we want and love. And it has other bad sides. User spying, ads. We like ads in the, in the room? Raise your hand if you like ads. You lie. <laughs> and other problems. Uh, and this is a vicious circle. The more, it has use, the more it has videos, the more users go to YouTube first. And if, uh, if YouTube is the most view, uh, viewed site for videos, users go first here. And vi make, uh, video makers come here first. So, vicious circle. We need to break, to break that circle. I'm French, so excuse my accent. If you want to, to have an alternative to YouTube, to host an alternative to YouTube, you have two big issues. First, you need to have a lot of disk space. It costs a lot of storage. And then, the bandwidth. Uh, I think I have read that uh, YouTube um, use 27% of uh, worldwide bandwidth in a year. Uh, it was in uh, 2015, I think. So, do you want uh, to, to pay the cost for that bandwidth? No. If you, you may want, but you don't have the money. Here. It would cost a lot, 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 lot of money. We have, in, uh, in the first, uh, first, um, Community, we have uh, video hosting software, but if you if it solves the storage problem because you only host your own videos or videos of your friends or whatever, um, if you have a video that goes viral, you have the bandwidth problem. You don't have the, the YouTube infrastructure to serve um, to serve a lot of people at the same time, and. There's another problem. You don't, you won't be discovered through serendipity. Excuse me, it's very complicated uh, to to say it, even in French. Serendipity. What is serendipity? Uh, it's when you go to Wikipedia and uh, look for whatever uh, YouTube or cats, and you end with no, with on the page of uh, medieval history of uh, of uh, France. Uh, oh, okay. first I was here, no, I'm here. I, uh, I learned a lot of things, but how did I go here? Because uh, it speaks about uh, YouTube is, a media, is quite a medieval um, system. There is the Lord of the Castle, Google. And we are the servants of the, of the Lord of the Castle. So, whatever. You don't have the serendipity in... Uh, in uh, your own hosting software, because you, own, you host your own videos and the, uh, the videos of your friends, obviously, but uh, there is not an, a, recommenda an algorithm, a recommendation algorithm. It's like when you, when you go on a video on YouTube about cats, it, you like cats? You may want to uh, watch these videos with cats. So you don't have that. But there is a new hope. So, let me introduce PeerTube. 
It's a self-hosting video platform. The servers are federated through ActivityPub. Comments and likes are federated through ActivityPub too. And it uses web torrent to see the video. I explain each point so after. The history of uh, PeerTube began a long, long time ago. In a country not so far away because we're in Belgium and uh, France is not so far. He began to code an alternative to YouTube based on web torrent. So peer tube, like to peer to peer and tube. It began two years, uh, two years ago. He developed it uh, on his free time for two years, slowly, like everybody does when it does uh, things on its free time. And in October 2017, 17, yeah, uh, FromaSoft, which is a non profit organization, which is my, uh, my boss, <laughs> uh, hired him for four months to work full time on Peertube because from a soft believe in Peertube. We, we saw the potential of Peertube and uh, wow, it need to go to go to, it need to go to cut faster. We need to have a, a fully working platform quicker. So we hired him. From the beginning, Chocobos wanted two things. He wanted to federate the server. So you can have the serendipity since the video of one platform are available, are available on, the other, on the other server. And he wanted to share the bandwidth between the watchers of videos. So with that, you cut the, the two uh, money the, yeah, the too many problems. But you have to know that uh, it changed a lot of things through the two years of, developer, of developing uh, Peertube. It begin with jQuery. No, it's Angular 5, transpiled from TypeScript uh, for the front end. At the beginning, it was the uh, whole plain uh, Node.js JavaScript. No, he used uh, TypeScript 2. MongoDB, <coughs> I won't say anything about MongoDB, no? <laughs> Don't like. To PostgreSQL, which is a great, great, great web database. And uh, from Electron to WebSeed for, the, for seeding the, the videos. Why Electron on the server? Because uh, he used Weber, uh, WebRTC and uh, only browsers provide WebRTC API. So, he had, to, he had to use uh, an external process with an electron, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with electron, uh, head, uh, headless uh, electron to seed the video. And finally, the federation protocol, which was developed for Peertube only. So Peertube can talk to Peertube and Peertube only. And now it uses ActivityPub, which say, which means that, uh, that anything that talks any activity pub can talk to Peertube. Alors, for the federation, server federation, it's quite like Twitter. Server A can follow server B with, through activity pub. <coughs> Twitter, Mastodon, you know what I mean. Uh, it indexes the video of server B and displays them on, the, uh, on, the, on its own home page. So uh, it indexes uh, the, the video by uh, fetching the metadata of the video, uh, description, likes, uh, comments, and so, and so on. Then it, uh, it builds its annex. And you can watch the video of the B server from the interface of the A server. That's quite cool, isn't it? But they are still are streamed from uh, the B server. It's like uh, the A server is just a proxy. Uh, not the interface is just a proxy. It's, it's embedded. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll go on that uh, later. For the comment, like, dislike, federation, so user on server A can comment, like, dislike a video from the another <laughs> server B. The action can be, can, uh, are pushed over uh, ActivityPub to the B server. 
and then replicated if uh, the C the C server the C server which is which follows uh, the B server as the the same video it uh, it fetches the um, it got the the update of the like dislike and comments and uh, since it's activity pub aware so since it's activity pub any activity pub aware software can talk with Peertube. And Mastodon, right now, can do that. It may require some developments, since Mastodon has to, to implement uh, the video, not, uh, I'm, not uh, I'm not the developer, so I don't know all the technical details, but a little bit of, uh, of, uh, of code, and it worked. You can go to frama.link slash peertube dash mastodon to see it in action. Some, uh, somebody on mastodon can subscribe to a video maker on peertube. The, when uh, when the, the video maker publishes a new video, there is a toot in mastodon that says, hey, new video here. And the uh, mastodon user can comment from mastodon. It's awesome. So go here if you don't believe me. But I find a lack of faith disturbing. Um, so now the peer-to-peer -peer viewers um, side of, of PeerTube. Each time you're viewing a video, you're seeding it. Just like BitTorrent. You're downloading something, you're seeding it here. You're viewing, you're sitting. So if, you, if a video goes viral, the more people are watching the video, the more seeder there are. So it, I'm sure it may help a little bit from the bandwidth, uh, for the bandwidth issue. One thing uh, that, will, um, that will make um, uh, network administrator happy is that you will, fi you will find seeders more close to you from a network point of view. You will reduce the traffic and the jigs. Jigs are um, big hub of internet and uh, big ex this is exchange point. And if you don't have to go to an exchange point to view the video because there are seeders right next to you, you're on your neighbor, or, uh, it will reduce the traffic on it. It's a good thing for the, uh, for the network. Peertube is currently in, a, in alpha stage, but we should have a beta version from the, uh, by the end of March, maybe mid-March, I don't know, ask him. And there is already a lot of cool features in it. Some federated videos with tags, categories, likes. Abuse on video. If you are hosting a video, uh, a video platform, you may want, you will want to, to have an abuse system. Here, this video is, a, is a, you go, uh, copyrighted or uh, something illegal. And uh, you have, to, you have to have a system to, to call the administrator and tell uh, it's bad, please uh, remove it. And for, in a federation, it's complicated. You, you will not ask every administrator of every server uh, from, uh, from server that's following the original instance to say, please remove it. No, you remove once, it's removed everywhere. Basic, user can register, remove their account. Cool feature, be limited with a disk quota. So you can open your, open your instance, say, hey, everybody, come here. But you will have 100 mega. Roles, admin, moderator, user, for now. Maybe in the future, there, um, we will have more roles if, uh, if, it's, uh, if there is a need. Mastodon user will be quite uh, know that Mastodon user know that system not safe for work. 
Here, it's, uh, it's called uh, explicit content. So you can, uh, you can flag a video saying it's explicit content. You don't show the video on, uh, on the front page or you hide it. You have to, to, to take an action to actually display it. And more. I don't know them because <laughs> I'm not the developer. And there is a lot, a lot of uh, future developments, of features uh, that, uh, that will eventually come. Subtitles would be cool. A recommendation algorithm, better than YouTube, than YouTube but uh, uh, there, there was a story of uh, someone who, who had to, to watch a video about, uh, about uh, alt-right movement and or just Republican uh, Party, I don't, I don't remember. And uh, the, the recommendation algorithm of YouTube said, hey, you may like that, you may like that, and more and more. And the, the more videos she watched, she watched uh, the more alt-right she, she goes. So maybe a better recommendation algorithm. Just, uh, just uh, suggest more and more cats, and maybe kittens. Upload a video from an URL or turn file uh, because uh, for now you just have to, to upload and you have a m m multiple servers and you want to, to share the bandwidth uh, from all these mirrors. Because for now, the first seeder of a video is only the server where the video is. So video mirroring equals more, more seeders from the beginning. An RSS feed and more. Even the developer doesn't know how much feature may people want. <laughs> I'm sure he's, he's watching his uh, GitHub issue list and uh, say, oh, oh, all that. So, one map. <laughs> well, not for not just for YouTube, but having a good alternative to YouTube is uh, is already a good uh, good one map. There is still a lot of work. Will you help? Go to github.com slash chocobos slash peertube. Freeze. Freezes. Freezes. Come to the dark side. <laughs> you can download the uh, uh, slides on uh, frama.link slash peertube dash fosdem dash 2018. Do you have any questions? Yes. Talk to me. Don't be afraid. Yes, I just What happened? What happened if uh, if a B, uh, if the video is on B server, and you are on an E server that follows the B server, and you want to watch the video from the E interface, you want to watch the video from the B server. What happened if the video has been deleted on the B server? For now, you're screwed. But with mirror video mirroring, <coughs> it may have a cache. But if the video is deleted on the B server. If, if, uh, if it's a, a censorship problem, because uh, if, the, if the video maker de de decided to delete the video, it's its problem. Uh, if the admin of the, of the instance deleted the video because it was a, an illegal video or whatever, it's another problem. For censorship, with uh, the video mirroring system, you may have, uh, you may still have the video, but the video mirroring is not ready yet. But hope, we hope uh, to have it uh, 
it's in the roadmap. It, it's, a, it's a feature that, uh, that, is a, that has a that have high priority. Um, first of all, thank you so much for being so awesome. Uh, and, and really, seriously, PharmaSoft is just... Um, and, and thank you in person for translating some of my articles into French. That means a lot to us. Um, but a question, which um, platforms are the videos supported on? Because I couldn't run it on iOS uh, and Mac right now. Is that a codec uh, issue or...? Um. Safari, Safari is, is right now not compatible with uh, YouTube, uh, Peertube. <laughs> uh, you may uh, want to use uh, a modern web browser. Is that something you'll be supporting though, or is the Mac and iOS world out? Uh, it's, it's, uh, you, we have to wait, but uh, Safari uh, implements features that are not available yet. Uh, I think the problem is the same for Edge, maybe. Uh, Edge, does it work? Okay. Edge? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Hi. Um, is the plan to have uh, different policies for the different servers? Like, they will to accept some videos? on some servers or they pre-approved videos or...? Uh, it's quite like the same problem, for the same thing than on a Mastodon instance. Uh, you may want to have uh, an instance just for cats, for everyone, just for dogs, whatever. It's uh, it the administrator of the, the instance that, uh, that tells the policy. And uh, for the federation, if uh, the A server follow the B server. The A server serves to uh, have a video of uh, everything. The B server only, s only have video of cats. And uh, you may think, uh, why, um, why video of cats, uh, why of video of B server, which is cats only, uh, you can see them on uh, A server. Well, uh, it's the federation. Uh, but you can uh, blacklist, you can blacklist uh, a server. You can say, no, you won't follow me. You won't follow my server, and so you can keep your uh, your server private, uh, semi-private, not in the federation, and um, you can uh, in either the administrator of the instance choose who to follow. So if you want to have only cats uh, video on your server, you may find, uh, the administrator will only follow instance of uh, cats videos uh, server. So does it uh, answer your question? Not sure. <laughs> can anybody near me can repeat the question because he doesn't have the mic now? <laughs> can you have pre approval of videos? No. You can't. On the lower map. <laughs> In the future. Um, you said that um, basically the first seeder is only the server on which the video was first uploaded. Well, except for mirrors in the future, etc. Uh, so if a server with a large uh, storage space comes up and have one viewer per video, which means a lot of videos, it will probably bring the server to its knees, right? Yeah, you will, you will have the, the bandwidth problem and uh, I don't know about the... the um, the RAM or CPU it uses when it seeds. Uh, I don't know the performance. He said mm. it's small. So you may, you, it may work. But if you have a billion video and billion uh, people, but one, peop uh, one people uh, one, uh, on each video, yeah, it, you have to test it. Wouldn't that be a way to bring down a server, uh, I mean, maliciously? Like, if you have a large server and you open one connection per video after browsing it, you're pretty much sure you will hit a lot of videos that were not sitting at the moment. Um. The developer said. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh,
just yeah. we we may want to we may test it uh, launch um, launch test uh, instance but uh, right now it's uh, only alpha and uh, before that we we want a, a thing that works so my question would be i think it's really important that we get good um, performance in terms of streaming videos if it's too slow people won't use it um, what if I'm a user on a federation server and I would like to help it with storage and bandwidth? So even when I'm not watching videos or I'm watching other videos than other people, um, and I would still like to donate my storage and bandwidth to those people. Can I do that? Like uh, almost. Um, it uses web torrents and um, uh, some uh, some torrent uh, softwares are are issues to implement WebTorrent. Uh, WebTorrent is not uh, like uh, the BitTorrent uh, protocol uh, exactly, so it has uh, to, to be adapted. And uh, you, in the future, you may be able to, to launch transmission or deluge or whatever, and uh, download the file and seed the file uh, like any other torrents. But you have to, we have to wait for uh, to, to, uh, torrent of, uh, softwares to implement WebTorrent. Time is up. Thanks for your talk. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.